Aloha! Welcome back to our channel. And um, today uh, we're going to do uh, the best E Borsi of E Cloudy. And it's going to be so fun. And you're going to like it. Woo! You're going to like it or else? You're, no, you're not going to like it. You're going to love it. No, you're going to like Oh, <laughs> what are you saying? You're going to adore it. <laughs> Walk through fire for you. Just let me adore you. That's how I feel about Cloudy Wells. Yeah, yeah. And that's how I feel about you. Mm hmm And that's better be how you feel about us. Yeah, exactly. If you don't adore us, then you can leave. leave. You can leave. I don't want to see you. Anyways. Um, <laughs> um, so she's finally here, guys. And um, we're going to make a video not eight months after a doll came out. What? And we did our homework this time. We read the book not when I was nine years old, but mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. So we have the deets. We got the juice. We got the words. And by we... We want to preach. We want to speak. We want to tell what we know. And by we, she means me. Yeah. Don't take credit for my knowledge. Yeah. Okay. Well, um... um anyways. So, Miss Cloudy Wells. Um, well, her name is Cloudy Wells. Ha! Huh, I see what you did there. So, um... Let's talk about her name. Yeah, um... <laughs> that's what we, um... Judge first. So... I don't know if, like, Claudie is, like, a nickname for Claudia, mm -hmm. or if it's just like Claudie. Claudine? I don't know. Yeah, Claudine, or something bigger, I don't know. Something bigger. I think it's a longer name. Claudie, Claudie Esteris. I, I don't know. Claud so, Claudie Storta. I don't, I don't know, it could be just a name that sounds like Claud something else. Claudia Strier. I don't know, the, 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 it could just be a nickname. It could just be a... <laughs> it could, it could, Cholesterol. It could, it could just be a nickname. I don't um, really know. Anyways, I think it's really cute. It's very much giving 1920s vibes. It's which, adorable. Considering she's from the 1920s, it makes sense. Yeah, it, it really does. Um, oh, we forgot to mention our sponsor. Today we were sponsored by Papa Murphy's, who makes a mean pizza pie. Um, and, um, of course, good old Taco Bell. Drinking the Baja Blast as we record this. Always. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, and the last name Wells with that is just like, like perfect, you know. Yeah, it really like rolls chef's off. kiss, because that's just it perfection. Really, it really rolls off the tongue, Claudie Wells. Claudie Cla Wells. Claudie it Wells. sounds like Claudie Wells. It sounds like a perfume or something. Like mm -hmm, Claudie Wells. So you wear Claudie Wells. Claudie Wells in the fragrance. Or like an actress. <laughs> I don't know what that pause was, but <laughs> I've never heard silence quite this loud. But yeah, I'm putting a uh, painter's tape around my leg right now. It's true, she is. Um, I'm gonna stop doing that now. Yeah, you should. It's really weird. Ouch. Anyways, um, so I think it's just a really, really like solid name, man. Mm -hmm. Really cute. Really cute. Like if I got this doll, which I have considered getting in the future. Ooh, spoilers. <laughs> spoiler alert. Um, if I'm able to fit her, if we're able to fit her in the collection, um, and you know, that kind of stuff. I would probably keep the name. I definitely would. Um, because yeah. it's just so cute. They nailed it. Like, yeah. they just were like this with it, you know? It's not an ugly name. If, they, there, if there's one thing that American Girl can do well, it's make little cute historical nicknames. Yeah. Nellie, Kit, Ruthie. And Claudie is no exception. So, yeah. it, it perfectly fits into my favorite genre of American Girl names. So I, I love it. Names. Yeah. So I'm gonna give it a um nine, nine point five. Yeah, it's just so <laughs> adorable. Five, yeah. yeah. Okay, so the next thing is her appearance. So um of course one thing we have to note about Claudia is that she has a brand new face mold for mm -hmm. us. The one thing that we want to get from American Girl, because I mean, who doesn't want a new face mold? American Girl is out here doing the absolute bare minimum, adding new dolls to their doll. Adding a new face. Um, stored. <laughs> so, when the leaked images came out, a lot of people thought it was actually the... Brand, the, not store. They thought it was the, um, the Machina, how do you pronounce it? Machina, Machina, yeah, Machina. Yeah, I always say it wrong. Um, mold, because she just kind of looks from a different angle. She looked a little similar. Yeah, the first image I saw of her was this, like, really horrible angle that looked like a Facebook mom selfie. It was kind of from, like, Which was not angle. a good first impression. So, I was thinking it was that, 
mold with like a different wig so I was kind of like oh I was really hoping for a new mold and then when yeah. I got this I was just shocked and loving her mold yeah and it, some people think it's like a combination a, of stuff I yeah. just see it as its own thing but we have to address the eyelash in the room um so Claudia Wells does have painted on eyelashes which seems to be based off the new truly me's that they're releasing the direction that American Girl is going for all their new dolls and collectors are in an uproar. Uh, collectors are very divided on these painted eyelashes, which I can understand why, but I do think that these eyelashes are more of an attempt to reach their target demographic, which is literal children. So um, I understand why they made that move. And I understand why collectors would be upset, but personally, I don't mind them. You can yeah. always remove her eyelashes exactly. if it really bugged you, but it doesn't really bug me. So that definitely is going to affect our rating of her um, looks, her appearance, because it personally does not affect us, and if she were to be in our collection, we would not remove her eyelashes. Yeah, because I just don't care. Yeah, so... Which really means they're a different story. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I understand people who are upset. It does, like, I understand that just painting on eyelashes, it kind of cheapens the look a little bit, but again, it's just not a big deal to me. I am absolutely in love with her face. Um, yeah, I'm in love with her face. Like, honestly, I think she's a gorgeous doll. I know this is very weird, but I think her eyebrows are beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, she's got, like, her, her, wig her, her brows is are on fleek. Her wig is stunning. <laughs> um, it's, yeah, really nice. I love how, like, her, she got so many ringlets. She kind of reminds me, her hair is, like, reminding me of, like, 44, who we mm. have, but maybe with, like, a, a lot more ringlets. No, it's, like, a different shape entirely, too, I think. But I, I can see the vibe you're getting. Yeah, like, I was really, really happy with her wig when I saw it. it Anyways, we're gonna rank her. I wanna give her a... I'm going to give her, like, a, a 10. 10. I just think she's such a gorgeous doll. I just think they really nailed mm -hmm. it with her. She, I, she, like, she's a stunner. And yeah. I understand that she might be a little controversial um, because of the eyelashes and stuff, but get over yourself. She's a beauty. So yeah. what are you going to do? All right, so next is her collection, and, um, yeah, let's get on to that. Okay, so the first thing is her... Um, oh, my God, is she a was doll? She is. She would be dead. Oh my god. She's a was. -doll. She could be like a hundred and well, she could be living. You think? Like the oldest person alive. Okay, so she's either. Uh, hey Alexa. One hundred and one. I'm having trouble connecting to the Rude. internet. Alexa, how, how dare you? Router and Echo device. So try restarting. Alexa, shut and up. Both of them. Shut and up. Stop. I'm trying to do a video. Seconds. Once the router is. Is that she's either a hundred one and a hundred and one years old. Or she's dead. And what do we think is more likely? I'm just saying. So, like, rest in peace, my rest girl. Rest in peace, Claudie Wells. We will now be using past tense when we can remember to. Yes. So, um, her, her first collection, I mean, first item in the collection is her meat outfit, of course. And first thing we have to acknowledge is the elephant in the room. Her Baja Blast little yes. cardigan going on. Yes. With her Baja Blast bow, JoJo yes. bow going on. They did it for She us. did the JoJo bow before the JoJo bow was a bow. Yes. It was invented. She invented it. Claudia's meat outfit color scheme is for us. Her it's for the She just has that in her, a lot of her pieces, but. Okay. Things that I appreciate about her meat outfit is that they've leaned into historical accuracy. Um, yes, it's the 1920s, but you are not going to see little girls, little 10 year old girls in the 1920s dressed up in a party city flop, flapper outfit. Yeah, that it's would just be really not going to, it's not going to happen. They were not flappers. These little kids were not flappers. So I appreciated the historical, historical accuracy. And I just, I like the little plaid moment. What can I say? She looks like a uh, 1920s Dorothy, you know? It's adorable. Yes. Yeah, it's darling. She was really cute in this outfit. Yes, yeah, so. she was adorable. Um, but we have her accessories. It's hotter than my fiery hatred for Kev. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really hot, guys. Uh, <laughs> it's it's like a hundred and eleven degrees. It was eleven. A, it's like a hundred and eleven. It's like a hundred and. Papa, oh. Papa, me want more Quaddy Wells. You yeah! <laughs> oh, me when 
American Girl says that their Girl of the Years are only gonna be available for a year. I'm looking at you, Kira. Yeah, why are you still roaming around these streets? Kira's still kicking. Yeah, get out of here. You were evicted a long time ago. Okay, so we have her Mia accessories. We have her hat, her bag, her necklace, her candy bar. It's a baby Ruth, by the way. She's she, she's eating her baby it's Ruth. It's okay. I don't, and I don't really like those. I you prefer know? Three Musketeers. Yeah, and then her journal. Love that. Okay, so love her hat moment. That's really the big piece in this, I think. It's a cloche. Yeah, love it. Love it. It's going on. Okay, here's the thing, though, right? Mm -hmm. All the original pictures I saw of Claudia mm -hmm. were her in her little cloche, mm -hmm. right? In her little hat. And I'm like, oh, that's really cute. I didn't know that when you bought Claudia, she's coming in this beautiful Baja Blast JoJo bow. Yeah. So I don't think the accessories are necessary because I would rather her be in the Baja Blast JoJo Blue. But... It's just a very 20s look, though, to have that yeah. style yeah. hat, though. So I, I do get it. It's good accessories. I personally wouldn't buy, but I understand. I never really get accessories. I did yeah. get Sage's accessories, but that was my... the only one we've gotten. Yeah, that was my first. Oh, no, we got Caroline's accessories. Yeah, she has a bonnet. bonnet. Well, we got... She had a bonnet. Yeah, well, we got Caroline and Sage's accessories, and we got them yeah. together. But that was our first doll, like, that we got. I don't think we've ever gotten accessories since then. Aside from Marisol, because she was our first doll, but... Marisol? Marisol we got from... I know, I'm saying that we got oh. without getting from a friend, so we kind of just went all out. Yeah. <laughs> and then after that, we didn't get accessories, but... Oh, I think we got accessories maybe for, like... Isabel? Oh, Isabel, we definitely did. Is Anyways, it? we've learned yeah. our lessons that accessories really are not that important, unless it's, like, a bonnet. Then you need a bonnet. I feel like everyone needs a bonnet in their collection. Yeah. I I do not regret that one bit. I think the bonnet is so important. Not that, like, I don't use the accessories that I did get. Like, yeah. they are adorable. Yeah. Like, I put them around rooms. Just save yourself some money. Like, when I do get them, like... like it, When with, I get them, I like them. Like, with Caroline's but, bonnet, I have it still hanging on Caroline's bed and yeah. stuff. It's almost like room decor, I guess. <laughs> I just love bonnets. Exactly. <laughs> But, um, yeah, very, very cute accessories. Love it. It is the moment. It is an icon. She's it's a legend. She... Okay, so the next piece we have is um, her yellow bloom pajamas for $36. Mm -hmm. And it has this little bonnet piece. And um, this is just adorable. I love that they chose to do a yellow color with this. And I love the flowers on it. Super, super cute. I love that they included the bonnet. Yeah, for her hair to like, protect, protect her hair. hair. Um, Very cute. Very cute. I know this is like low-key kind of divisive piece in her collection. I've seen on AGIG that people don't really like her pajamas, which I don't understand. I think they're really darling. Yeah. She, she was really darling. <laughs> 36 though, um, I mean, yeah. Well, I think that's expensive. I all, if they're all kind of $36, I guess. Yeah. That's a standard. Her, her collection actually, like, in general, is it's, weirdly expensive, uh -huh. I feel. I think it's because a lot of it is just, um, a lot, a good portion of it, aside from this, mm -hmm. is kind of like a designer. Oh, yeah. This would be a good time just to say that Claudia just came out. I'm sure she'll get more pieces to her collection. I'm sure she'll get more books. But we're reviewing her now, so deal with it. Um, yeah. but yeah, I love her pajamas. I think they're really cute. Would I like to see a nightgown? Absolutely. Well, hashtag team nightgown. Always. But her pajamas are really cute. Very 20s looking. She she's, rocking it. She slays. Yeah. Queen. Yes! I would definitely get these if I got her. If I had money. <laughs> <laughs> Ha ha ha. Moving on. Okay, next we have Let her go. jazz performance outfit for $36. And <laughs> this one I'm kind of indifferent with. I don't I don't know. It's just... I I don't know how to feel, I don't honestly. Know how to feel. I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's just kind of there. I'm not a big fan of the colors. And exactly. I don't like the black with the pink, but I like it. Yeah. I, I like the shape of it, but I think that the... the I have something unfortunate to tell you. Yeah. Which came to my realization the other day. Mm -hmm. Is that the bottom of her dress looks like a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup wrapper upside down. It, it does. Yes. Yeah. It does. It and now I can't unsee it, which is why I will not be purchasing this. But you do you. Maybe you really like Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I do. I went through a Reese's Peanut Butter Cups phase in like third grade mm -hmm. where that was my go-to candy yeah. i'm more of a hershey's girl now but i understand 
Yeah, I mean, peanut butter chocolate. Great, great when separate, separate, but when they combine, they make the morning time epic. Yeah. Um, but they don't make your dress epic, so it's a no for me, dog. Moving on to an exciting segment of Claudie's collection, which are these three outfits that were designed by Harlem's Fashion's row designer. Um, her name is Samantha Black, and she designed three of these outfits inspired... Let me say that again for the people in the back. INSPIRED! <laughs> R.I.P. headphone users. Um, by Claudie's collection. These are not supposed to be historically accurate. Don't get your panties in a twist. These are inspired by the era and Claudie herself, okay? So it's inspired by the Harlem Renaissance, and it's inspired by Claudie. Yeah. Inspired, okay, guys? So don't get your knickers in a twist. These are more a of a collector's type deal, as you will see with the price, but let's get into it. So, so it's $48, um, and first we have a jazzy flapper and fur coat outfit for $48, and I think that she looked really cute in this mm -hmm. when she was alive. Yeah. Um, but... You know, this is absolutely adorable. Um, I remember on the, like her release day, I was looking over her outfits, and this one, sh like, I definitely caught my eye mm -hmm. um, because I just love the color. You know, I love like the little aqua color, mm -hmm. and I just think like, the fur coat—it's so dramatic and like very twenties kind of look, I guess. Yeah. Um, um, I, I like I—I I was saying earlier that the, a ten-year-old would not be a flapper, but this, because this is inspired. By um, the era and Claudie, I I do really like this flapper outfit, and I think it's really cute. So if you guys really wanted to put your doll in a flapper outfit because she was from the 1920s, there you go. This is your outfit to do that. Yeah, like I usually wouldn't be doing a fur coat and stuff, but I yeah. think it just goes with this so well. It's so beautiful. It's like so dramatic. Yeah, it's like a Barbie fashion fairy tale or something. Like you know, like yeah, being real, like like runway like you know like <laughs> yeah very very much um what are those fairies called flairies yeah adding the flare the flairies definitely helped with this outfit yeah oh yeah they, they were all they, 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 they were, were for here. sure involved. they were they were in the room with the lady who designed they this. were in the room with samantha black i think this was made at aunt millicent's it might have been i think it it was yeah but you know um I'm not gonna be like making speculations. I just think that they're not giving credit to Millicent's. Yeah. But you know, but very cute piece. I love the blue on her. Maybe maybe Harlem Fashion Row stole the flares. Oh my God! They're like the little place, like the Jacqueline's place across the street. No, I'm sure that the flares wanted to go. Yeah, maybe maybe they, they were just coaxed out. But like maybe look, Millicent was look like at a, all these beautiful designs. Maybe like, like Millicent like was abusing them. You know, I always got weird vibes from Aunt Millicent, I'm not gonna lie. Because she was just so What if eager. Millicent died? She probably did. She it's looked been old. a while. She looked old. It's been a while. When did it come out? Like, 2010. 2010, and she already had that gray hair. But she was she was keeping limber with all of her, like, athletic hobbies. She was doing, like, some hobbies. roller skates and stuff. Yeah. I don't know. Calm down below. Do you guys think the that, jury's still out? Do you think Millicent's still popping, y'all? Yeah. had a hand in this beautiful dress. <laughs> so next we have um, her sparkly skirt and fur trim top mm -hmm. for $48 and I will be brutally honest with you guys. It's ugly. Yeah. It's not for me y'all. Um, um, why are we doing y'all? Like Bama Rush corrupted us. She didn't look very good when she wore this when she was alive. Hey guys it's a doll place. But um when I I like the skirt, like I would I would just take the skirt from this. Yeah. So apparently, I just found out today that a lot of people originally thought that the sequins mm -hmm. were leopard prints, and I could see why you would think that. 
Yeah, it's not. It's weird. I don't like it. I don't like the fur. The fur is making me very uncomfortable. Uh-huh. The button in the center of the forehead is a bit it much. It feels like an eye looking at me. Yeah, it's very much something I would be forced to wear at age of five to go to a Christmas church service. Um... Which is part of my issues, especially those tights. I know those tights are itchy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's like so Christmas church service. But I mean, from at, least 2007. They, at least they have that good old outfit to have so that you can, you can role play that with your dolls. <laughs> you know, like now you well, have. No, you could take Claudia to church with you. Exactly. At least you have those kind I of tights. I remember like a couple times little girls would bring in like their American girls to church. I would just be like, ooh, she's rich. That's not even the first time I was ever exposed, like, truly exposed to American Girl. The first time I was ever, like, really exposed was at a, uh, like, a church group where we were praying for our future husbands. And yeah, that was an interesting the girl time in who, our life. The girl who was leading the church group, the daughter of the mother who was leading the church group, had Kanani's entire collection just sitting out and she's like do you want to see i just bought her and she had her entire collection yeah, that, that girl was rich yeah anyway i don't know why you were there <laughs> why well, was there to pray for my future husband at least you have this to dress your doll up like that yeah with you to endure the pain with you mm-hmm endure those itchy tights together yeah take on the world here is the Whoa. moment. Oh my god. We have her glitzy sequin gown and capelet, capelet outfit for, for $50. $50. So it's two more dollars, two guys. Two more dollars. So it's the expensive one. Yeah, so this is the end of it's the entire two more collection. Probably more geared towards collectors. But she looked drop beautiful. Drop dead gorgeous. Goddess behavior. She looked she, she used to look so beautiful. Yeah, it she looks like a these. work of art, literally. I know that people don't like this outfit, and I'm here to tell you that you're wrong. I think people don't like it because they don't see it as an everyday sort It's of not wear. everyday. It's a piece of art. That's like saying, yeah. oh, I wouldn't buy the Mona Lisa because it's not um, wallpaper. You know what I'm saying? What? You don't buy the Mona Lisa to be wallpaper. You buy it to display it exactly. and to honor it. Exactly. Um, I don't think you could buy the Mona Lisa, though. But you definitely can't. It's in the the Louvre. The Louvre. Yeah. Oh, this is look. She looks like a ray of sunshine. Oh yeah, literally like, a ray of sunshine. I'm sun. walking on sunshine. She sun is the sunshine. Oh. Like she. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like uh, that Care Bears. Oh my fun, god. Fun, sunshine. Sunshine fun bear shine. as a human. She looks she, like. She looks like. Zeus, but like the female version of Zeus. She looks like the female version of Apollo. She looks like a goddess. She looks like she belongs in heaven. This, so anyways, if I had $50 just to spend, I would definitely buy this. But I don't. I don't. So please get it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Waste your money for me. Do it and, and tell us. me about it. Tell me the experience. Tell me about your experience. Tell me how happy you were. How it feels to own this piece of how art. How it feels to live... My dream. Thank you. Um, anyways, that concludes Claudie's outfits. As you can see, not a very large collection yet. She just came out, y'all. It's only been like a week but or something. But this inspired clothing is new, and I think an inspired move by American Girl. We love to see it. I want to see more of it. So, um, now we have her dress-up accessory set Woo! with a hat box, a necklace, a, a top, top hat, hat, a, a stole, stole, her tights, tights and, and an enclosure. enclosure. Very cute to have, like, a little dress-up thingy. Like, yeah. fun time. She could just be like, ooh, like, like, I'm gonna dress up. Yeah. Like, go, like, let me... I know it's a fur stole, but whenever I hear the word stole, I just think of, like, graduation, and in particular, Gabrielle... Gabriella. Gabriella's graduation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dizzy Dot. Her dog is $30. Um, originally, when I saw, saw the dog, mm -hmm. I thought that um, they were a, um, like a, a, a box. I thought they were a footstool. 
but that doesn't matter. We are both wrong. What um, matters is that Dizzy Dot is the queen of my heart, the king of my heart. The Dizzy Dot is my everything, and I don't mean to be melodramatic when I say that. I would die for this dog. Um, does do, do they look? I don't. Sorry, I don't know their pronouns. I don't know Dizzy Dot's pronouns, but do they look a little dollar store? Yes, of course they do. Do they look a little bit like those scary dogs that your friend would have when you came over to their house that would snap at you and seem to be possessed by a demonic energy? Yeah, of course. Would I lay down my life to own this dog? Yes. I am the president, CEO, and founder of the Dizzy Dot fan club. I am so sick of seeing Dizzy Dot slander on the internet. Get off of my internet. I don't want to see it. You either get it or you don't. But if you don't get it, get out of here. Dizzy Dot is the one and only. I love Dizzy Dot. How do you feel? Yeah. Yeah? Mm hmm Good. <laughs> Next, we have Claudie's Kick Scooter for $65. Woo! Love the color. Don't love the price. Yeah, that's a little <laughs> expensive. I mean, the bikes, the scooters, the the mopeds, the, the cars that Julie apparently Dude. drives. You know what I can't wait for? Are always expensive. I can't wait for a girl of the year to be from, like, the early 2000s and for them to have a ripstick. Yes. Or Heelys. Oh yeah, that'd be fun. But this is so cute. Love the love the color. Love the that we got a scooter. Mm -hmm. Like we already have a scooter from Kit, but this is a cute scooter as well. Yeah, this feels like a little bit more of an actual scooter than because Kit's, Kit's is kind of like a homemade because, deal. Because Kit's poor. Yeah. Well, so is Claudie. No spoilers, but yeah, but she's like, not doing fantastic financially. But Kit kind of made hers a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. But so Kate was going through an very cute recession. but very very expensive. Also known as the Great Depression. Fun times. <laughs> Next is Claudie's <laughs> bed for $150, which is a very ridiculous price because this looks like plastic. A hunk of plastic. Yeah, I the quality to me just doesn't look very good. I'm not very impressed with the quality at all. Um American girl. Do it's just, better. It's just the fact that I can go over here and make like a wooden, solid wood doll bed for cheaper, ten, ten bucks, much cheaper, and it looks like it was higher quality. Yeah, like ten times higher quality. Like, come on now. And it it looks like solid wood, and finished. Ooh, are you gonna show them? Are you gonna pop in a little picture? Yeah, sure. I'll show you a picture. We're a little right DIY. Here. But it's just we're DIY queens. It's just like like even like a our generation beds are like metal sometimes. Like you know. Yeah. It's just, some American girl, like, we even had, like, particle board before. Yeah. Like, we used to, back in, like, 2010 and stuff. And then we've just had this, like, sudden, like, plastic. Mm hmm Like, if you look at this, um, like, dreamy day bed that we have in our dollhouse, you can see clearly that it's particle board. And I know this because a piece of it is chipped off in our corner in the back. Yeah. And it's particle board. And it's just, <laughs> it's kind of like, okay, now everything's plastic. And it... It's not that that sucks, it's just why it, we... It sucks. It's not that that sucks. It sucks because it's the same price as you would pay for higher quality materials. It, exactly. It's not that that sucks, it just sucks that you're making it that price. Yeah. If it's going to be plastic, make it, like, like $10, please. Yeah. And the, it, you can just tell it's plastic from the pictures. Yeah, but... Which is just not a good sign. I do love the colors and, like, that they chose. I love this color of the frame here and yeah. the bedding. Um, it, it's very cute. I would love a room like this for her. Um, it, adorable. But I just wish that it would be wood or something more, like yeah. particle board like they used to do. Um, because, I don't know, it's just so, so plastic looking. It's just, you can see it. Because like, even some plastics are a little bit better looking. Yeah. Cause, don't get me wrong, I have a lot of plastic in the dollhouse. I, I have dolls. But we paid... Like twenty bucks for it, and yeah. not a hundred and fifty. Yeah, like, but a lot of it doesn't look as plastic. Mm -hmm. This just looks so like cheap. I don't even know. Yeah, it's cheap. It just this one just cheap, looks, cheap, 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 cheap. This is just one of the cheapest American Girl looking pieces I've ever seen in a while. Moving on from the Walmart chic um, furniture, 
The last piece in her collection is Angelo's Bakery for $295, so it's the big this piece. Is, yeah, her big ticket item, if you will. I do love the colors, the Baja Blast representation here. It's love just, that. We love our Taco Bell rep, you know. We love to see it. Just like her meat outfit. We, I love You've seeing... heard of Angelo, what is it called, Angelo's Bakery? Yeah, I love it's that. It's Taco, it's Taco Bella Joe's. <laughs> The one thing I'm not a fan of is how in the back there's just like um printed on printed, bread. Yeah, that's a little weird. That's to me. weird, and I, you know what? I was I was actually ho like wishing it'd be more substantial for that price. Is the bread just supposed to be like part of a, like a posters or something? I don't know. You know, big ticket items. They're definitely not for me. Yeah, the only big ticket item that we actually own. What we own a big ticket item? Oh, actually, what? we have two. What? Well, I don't know if you call it a big ticket what? item. What? We do have the American Girl Kitchen, but we got it oh, from... Oh, like Facebook Marketplace? We got it on Facebook Marketplace, and it was used for $20, yeah. which is This tells you how shocking. much you're going to buy big ticket items. Yeah. We're not going to pay 200 and whatever. No. And then we actually have the, um, like, breakfast little counter, like, retro diner thingy. I think that's our generation. It is though. our generation. Yeah, and we have that... But that was, once again, that one was, like, a, I think it was free. It was free, yeah. Yeah, so. Anyways, I don't see myself in the foreseeable future buying any doll furniture piece that is less than $50. Um, interest, I mean, more than $50. Interest me. Like, there's things that I'll look at and I'm just absolutely in love yeah. with them. And the kitchen is one of them. Yeah. That one, I would look at every time I go to the American Girl store and that's why I just kind of, like, knew I had to have that. Yeah. You, but I still had to pay, you know, we had, the, luckily yeah. found it for $20, this, otherwise I would have never got it. These big ticket items are for little Susie Sue, whose dad's a surgeon and whose mother is a cardiologist, and Susie wants it, so Susie gets it. That's who these big ticket items are for, and maybe, like, a select few of adult collectors. It's who, not for me. Yeah. I mean, maybe... If and I don't think it's for the majority. Yeah, if you're saving for it and whatever, yeah. or if you just do this yeah, to earn money to just get these things, then that makes sense. But for, like, the target audience, then yeah, I mean... Yeah. They're fun to look at, but... Well, yeah, they're, it's definitely fun to look at because it goes with their story and stuff. You can see on a doll's scale. Do you know that one TikTok sound that's, like, Kim Kardashian goes, like, I can't eat it, but uh, it's so exciting just to smell it. Uh, That's how I feel about American Girl big tick items. <laughs> it's just it's it is fun just to see them on like the dolls scale when you see them from the story. Yeah. But or you see them, you know, hear about them in the book and stuff. But make your own. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can DIY queens. Go out and be that DIY queen that you can be. We've gone through so many different doll beds and stuff that we've made. Like you used to have cardboard and then like 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 I can't we just had the weirdest like and they've all broken and fallen apart. I just eventually made, like, other things. And, the, like, it's just... Yeah. DIY. You, you, there's so many things you can make. Just do it. I'm a big Pinterest proponent. Just <laughs> <laughs> Lots of tutorials on YouTube and stuff. Just, like, our mm. whole doll living room. How to make a doll toilet? <laughs> that revolutionary video. That's, like, probably one of my favorite videos on all the internet. Oh, yeah. Just the thumbnail alone deserves an Oscar. Oh, yeah. We're still working on a doll toilet. Oh, good. We're still, Logan, we're why a, are you on the toilet? We're still working on a doll toilet right now. Coming soon. Yeah. But, like, our whole doll couch is made, um, like, we made it. Because yeah. Because we're DIY queens. Yeah, but, like, don't, We're girl bosses. And, like, American Girl probably would have sold slay. that for whatever price. Like, $20,000. Yeah. Just, your left kidney. Just go out and make it. Not to, like, take away from American Girl, though. Obviously, they have to sell something. That's what they're in the business of doing. Don't fall for it. <laughs> Twenty dolls later. Now we're gonna rate her collection and okay, so I'm Thanks. Gonna... I'm very excited about the inspired direction. Um most of her outfits were very good. Mm hmm Some of them were eh. And I love Dizzy Dots. Maybe a seven? Seven point five? Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of it, average. You know, it's just expensive. More expensive than usual. Not all the pieces are great, but I really like the Inspire thing, and I hope they do more of that. Yeah. Yeah. Moving on to her story, which is going to be a ride for you guys, because you're going to be dealing with an Amazon synopsis, and then I'm going to fill in the details. So, Paige, take it away. Okay, so, 
Claudia Wells wants more than anything to be a person whose imagination can fly instead of a person whose feet are stuck on the ground. She believes everyone has a talent except for her. She's growing up in the neighborhood of Harlem in New York City during the 1920s, surrounded by writers and poets, painters and sculptors, actors and dancers, singers and musicians. When an eviction notice threatens her family, friends, and the beloved boarding house they share, Claudia has an idea that just might save the day. But first, she'll have to find the confidence to let her imagination soar. True. Now, you guys better be so thankful because I used an audio, an audible free trial to listen to this book for you guys. Woo! So, be grateful. Um, oh, I think it's notable to say that this was written by Brett, Britt Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> this book was written by Britt Bennett who is a New York Times bestselling author who has no business writing for American Girl except she wants to, which I just think is lovely. She has a beautiful little author's note, and I support this author 100%. Um, um, what was her I big idea that she says that just might save the day? Right. <laughs> so her big idea was a variety show. So just getting all these artists together and performing They're like in her to raise some money. Yeah. Okay. So, but the problem is, is that as she's gathering up these artists, her ja her jazz dance teacher says, oh, yeah, we can do a group performance, except you'll have to do a solo, Claudie. Mm -hmm. And then she talks to this, like, um, I think she's a backdrop painter, and she says, oh, yeah, Claudie, I'll paint some backdrops for you, but you have to make a sketch and perform in it. So people are really pushing her to be artists. Okay, she's kind of just going through a bunch of different, like, different art places. See, yeah. She, so she's getting a feel for all these different... Yeah, I'll tell you, like, the the very much the beginning felt like Encanto vibes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, oh, I'm so, I'm so untalented and unimportant, surrounded by these talented, important people, you know? Yeah. So, like, she gets to go see, like, dancers and yeah. writers and... It kind of learns about them a little bit. Yeah, she's giving Mirabelle realness. Okay. Okay, I see. But she just kind of feels like she can't do anything. Yeah, but then what's really nice about it is it kind of just explores what it means to be an artist in general. Like, her mother is a journalist and her father is a baker, and she's like, oh... I guess my mother is an artist in a way with her journalism. And mm -hmm. oh, I guess my father is an artist even though he's just a baker. So it's just like these everyday um, ways that people are artists. Just, and she kind of dismisses the own art she creates. Like she does little puppet shows for her brother and she doesn't view that as a talent. And so like the, uh, the pieces, like whose bakery is that? that? That's her father's bakery? I don't know if it's her father's, because we don't- I don't think we ever hear the father's first name. I don't know if it's Angelo. A couple things to know about it. It does touch on racism. Like, this is overall just a joyful book that celebrates community and art, but it touches on the realities of racism. And especially post-war racism, as black soldiers returned, and kind of, you know, they were heroes then, but- what are they now? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And speaking of which, her father, it's kind of in subtly implied that her father is struggling with PTSD, which I just think was really nicely done. But most of all, it's just like a joyful book. And her mother is a... Is a journalist. journalist. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And she's just an only child and... No, she has a brother. Okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> And at the end... I feel like you're giving me a quiz. <laughs> at the end, basically... Oh, yeah. So, at the end, um, we don't see the variety, variety show. This is very much, like, a first book. So, it's setting up for the second yeah, book. Yeah. It's, like, setting up everything. It's setting up the variety show. So, like, at the end, she's like, okay, I agree that I'm going to be involved in this variety show pretty heavily. And she ends up taking, like, this risk to get some inspiration for her skit, uh, skit, mm -hmm. um, and going to Georgia with her mother, because mm -hmm. her mother's family's from Georgia, mm -hmm. and she's hoping to get some inspiration there. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where we leave off, before she goes to Georgia, before the show. So it's very much a first book, but I really enjoyed it. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Sounds good. Yeah. This, yeah. So what would you give her story out of 10? Personally, I had such a good time with it. I'm going to be reading her second book. I literally give her story like a 9.5 out of 10. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so that would average her total score. Or to around 9.2. So, very good. Yeah, so, I mean, I think American Girl just did a really great job with Claudie. Um, yeah, not a great job at promoting her. <clears throat> but <laughs> I'm glad she's here now because um, she's a great character. She has a great collection. Um, she looks amazing while doing it. <laughs> <laughs> She slays the day. Um, but yeah, a great addition to the um, historical characters, be forever, whatever. But um, yeah, glad to have her in American Girls lineup. She deserves the world. I love Fadi. Um Yeah, so if you're thinking about getting her, I would definitely recommend that you go check her out and stuff. Yeah, I think we most likely will be getting her once we get some funds. Yeah, I mean, and also we'd have to think about where we put her in the dollhouse and stuff. Yeah, we're running out of space. Well, there's, there's still room. We just have to think of kind of a person. We have to think of how she'd fit into our series more than anything. Yeah. That, that's always the biggest issue. There's only so many personalities in the world. <laughs> like, good personalities. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we could ever be, like, <laughs> a horrible person, but where would the fun be in that? Yeah. Um... Anyways, we love you so much. <laughs> um, we adore you. We adore Claudie. So may your clothes never be wrinkly. May you always have the right amount of ice in your drink. Wash your hair. <laughs> may you not have to live in 115 degree heat. Um, Remember to wash behind your ears. Yeah, wash behind your ears, wash between your toes. Be a good girl or boy in school. Oh, be a good person in school. Yeah, be nice to your friends. <laughs> Why'd you sound so rude <laughs> when you said that? <laughs> what happened to you? Alright, who good, hurt you? Good night, guys. S smell you later. Mwah. Love you. <laughs>